My name is Ros Savage. My first book, Rowing the Atlantic, is about my solo row across the Atlantic Ocean in 2005. But in fact, it's really more about the backstory, about the circumstances that led me to be rolling around on a 23-foot boat in the middle of the Atlantic. When I first had this idea to row across oceans, it was almost like a bolt from the blue. It seemed to just come from outside of me and my first reaction was, this is perfect. My second reaction was, no, this is crazy. There is no way I can do this. I'm just a management consultant. I've got no qualifications whatsoever to do this. So I tried to make the idea go away, but it just refused to. And I think this is what I would say to anybody else who's got a dream. And they know maybe where they want to be, and they obviously know where they are now, but they can't see how to bridge that gap between the two. I think the first step to do is just write that to-do list. Like, supposing you were going to make that dream come true, what would you need to do? And when I'd done this list, I looked down it, and there wasn't actually anything on there that I didn't know how to do. So, at that point, it all started to seem frighteningly doable. I think almost every day that I was out on the Atlantic, at, at least one point I wanted to give up. It was, without a doubt, the hardest thing I had ever done. If I'd have known at the outset just how hard it was going to be, I'm not sure I'd ever have set out. But once I had set out from the Canaries, I was too proud and too stubborn to quit. So I realised that I had to just take it one day or one rowing shift, or sometimes just the next 10 strokes at a time that even the biggest task can be broken down into just tiny little actions and you can only ever do the next one. You can't worry about what's going to be happening 30 or 60 or 90 days from now. You have to just try and stay in the present moment and just, just do it. I get amazing emails from people who have told me their own personal stories and how their lives have been touched by mine. Like a woman who was going through chemotherapy and when she just couldn't find the strength to go to the hospital. She would just think about me rowing across the Atlantic and that helped to get her motivated to go. And I know that in turn I've been very inspired by other people. <laughs> Even though ocean rowing is very hard, there are times when I think I almost have it easy because at least in many ways I am the captain of my own ship and relatively in control of my own fate. And I know that other people have much bigger challenges to face and I'm continuously inspired by their examples too.